Today, in our holy Torah, we found these words. Across them the roar boaret, the whole yosh veho. Yo veil he to he yell of him. Be shoved to me, el achuza so. Be ish el mishpach to toshuvu. Which mean proclaim freedom throughout the world to all the inhabitants thereof. A day of celebration shall this be for you. A day when every man shall return to his family and to his rightful place in society. In the United States of America, in the city of Philadelphia, upon the exact spot where 169 years ago a group of brave Americans met and decided to fight for American independence, there stands a marker upon which is written these very same words. Proclaim freedom throughout the world to all the inhabitants thereof. From the beginning of their existence, as a liberty-loving and an independent people, the citizens of America understood that not until all the peoples of the world were free would they be truly free, that not until tyranny and oppression had been erased from the hearts of all men and all nations would there be lasting peace and happiness for themselves. Thus it has been that throughout our entire history, whenever and wherever men have been enslaved, Americans have fought to set them free. Whenever and wherever dictators have endeavored to destroy democracy and justice and truth, Americans have not rested content until these despots have been overthrown. Today I come to you in a dual capacity, as a soldier in the American army and as a representative of the Jewish community of America. As an American soldier, I say to you that we are proud, very proud, to be here, to know that we have had a share in the destruction of the most cruel tyranny of all time. <coughs> As an American soldier, I say to you that we are very, very proud to be with you as comrades in arms, to greet you and to salute you who have been the bravest of the brave. We know your tragedy. We know your sorrows. We know that upon you was centered the venomous hatred